My name is Maya Burhan Burkar, and I'm working here as an assistant researcher. Curiosity, persistence, and optimism. Grand unified theory. <laughs> Definitely not within my, my abilities, but hey, <laughs> if I could, I would. Just how much of physics you need to know in order to do it. Um, it sort of seems like it encompasses all of the, the other areas of physics when you, when you do it. Um, and so my philosophy is to try to learn as much as possible, and I think cosmology definitely embraces that. It was this iterative process of making a ton of mistakes and then eventually, after years, getting somewhere. Um, and so I think it's important to, to highlight the failures as well as the successes so that people know that it's not just um, success after success after success. For the very first science research project I did, I, uh, I, I took a pop can cooler, used that as my incubator, um, and then stuck a heating blanket, an electric heating blanket inside of it. And I wanted to see whether or not these um, particular herbs had antibacterial properties. So I took uh, a piece of chicken that my parents were going to be cooking for dinner uh, that night, like raw chicken, and I left it out on the deck for a few days, and then used that as my bacterial source, which in retrospect, horrible idea. There are some really serious pathogens on chicken, but thankfully I didn't end up killing anyone. Uh, and I took that chicken and I swabbed my petri dishes with it, and then I kind of dumped a bunch of these herbs on top of the petri dishes, stuck them inside of my incubator for a few days, opened up the incubator uh, a couple days later, and saw that there was no bacteria on the petri dishes. And so I thought, hooray, I have come up with an intelligent antibiotic. This is the solution to all of the world's problems. And so I went to my local science fair and presented it. And, uh, you know, the judge smiled and nodded. And then it was only at the very end of my presentation that the judge pointed out that the bacteria hadn't died because of the herbs. They had died because I had literally suffocated them <laughs> with the herbs. They died because of lack of oxygen. So that was my first uh, really big scientific failure. <laughs>